This congressman making headlines for buying cocaine. Trey Radel is headed to court today after being caught up in a sting. And ABC's Pierre Thomas has all the details on how he was caught. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, George. Today, a sitting U.S. congressman won't be on Capitol Hill. No, he will be in a D.C. courthouse facing drug charges that could land him in jail for up to 180 days. I guess you don't think much of me as a big-time politician, do you? Well, compromise... He's a conservative congressman. A compromise is essential. And self-proclaimed rap music connoisseur. Bring the noise! Public enemy, bring the noise, is one of my favorite tracks. But this morning, Florida Congressman Trey Ray Doe has been accused of buying cocaine. You look like you have friends in all places. Sources tell ABC News the congressman was snared in a joint FBI-DEA sting operation after being identified by a cocaine dealer. Sometimes I think you're not too tightly wrapped. Undercover agents let him leave the scene, but authorities later went to his home and informed him he had just purchased cocaine from a federal agent. They did not arrest Ray Dahl, but told him he would be hearing from them soon. I got some bad news for you. Can you take it now? Or shall I hold it off a little longer? In this March blog, the congressman also admitted that his favorite vacation spot is Cartagena, Colombia, once a notorious hub for drug trafficking. You've been quite a traveler. Uh, what do you think about South America? I'm going there soon, you know. Is that so? Where are you going? Uruguay. Well, you go Uruguay and I'll go mine. The story drawing comparisons to Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, who also admitted to using cocaine. I have nothing left to hide. A spokesman for House Speaker John Boehner said in a statement, members of Congress should be held to the highest standard. But he said ultimately this issue is between the congressman, his family, and his constituents. You know, one of the things I take pleasure in I can't do.